I would wager that if you're watching this nugget, you are pretty excited to get started into a career of desktop support. Let's discuss how easy it is for you to get started. By the time you're done with this nugget, you will have an idea of some great next steps that you should take in order to jumpstart your journey through desktop support. If you're unsure of where you should begin your studies, a great, great area that you should consider is CompTIA's a certification. If you already know quite a bit about both the hardware and software that make up the desktop support environment, you're going to at least get a great review of some of the key topics, and there's always going to be items in here that are new to you. So the a is a great starting point, as I said, if you're unsure of exactly where you should start. And one of the things that makes a such a great starting point is the fact that like all of CompTIA's certifications, this is going to be a vendor neutral approach to the subject matter. So you don't get bogged down with any one vendor's technologies. It's not going to be totally Microsoft centric or Linux centric or Apple Mac centric. It's going to give us a nice broad coverage of the key elements of operating systems and hardware platforms that all of these vendors would have in common. While the CompTIA A plus is going to be super interesting in its coverage, you're then really going to get excited about your desktop support studies when you start to get really specific into various technologies. For instance, maybe you've discovered that you're going to be supporting a lot of Microsoft Office technologies, including their email client Outlook. So now you could begin specializing in this study and you could move from these key applications to begin specializing in the operating system itself. And something that's really powerful is you're not only gaining the education in these training courses, but you're also going to be gaining experience because as you can see, for many of our courses, we're going to build for you hands-on labs that are going to accompany the training materials. So you're going to get a chance to go in and actually do this stuff. Here is a Windows 10 hands-on lab that I created that goes along with my Windows 10 power user course. So you're going to be following along with me step by step as you engage in advanced configurations of the operating system. And one of the excellent things about these hands-on labs is that they are safe sandboxes for us to get in and really experiment and really play with things. Don't hesitate to do that. You can't break anything. I mean, let's face it, you may break the virtual machine that's running in our hands-on lab that's running the Windows 10, but it's not going to have any lasting effects. You can restart the hands-on lab, the environment will be rebuilt for you, and no one's going to come over to your desk angry that you've messed up some production system. So have fun, really experiment with these operating systems that we've set up for you. This may sound a bit cliche, but I really have to encourage you to have fun as you go through this training, as you build experience, and as you are more sophisticated when it comes to supporting and troubleshooting the desktop environment. Thank you so much for joining me in this introductory look at a career in desktop support. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.